Maryland's most accurate forecast. A little chilly out there today, but overall not a bad day. We are tracking a few sprinkles out in western portions of Maryland near Frederick and Thermont, but the rest of us really on the drier side as expected. The numbers are a little chilly. If you're getting out this evening to run some errands or run to um, the drugstore here, we're going to be at 55 degrees here in the city, 54 in Essex, 52 out in Bel Air, 51 in Parkton. These numbers are a little bit warmer than we were yesterday at this hour, but still a little chilly, needing the jackets for the evening. Those numbers are going to be falling to the lower 50s as we head into the evening hours. Stray sprinkle not out of the question, mainly for portions of Western Maryland. I think the rest of us are going to stay on the drier side. Now, as we turn the page to the next couple of days, we are looking at drier weather pattern taking hold. That means a lot of folks are going to be looking to get outside, uh, maybe take a walk in the park, get on some bikes, or uh, maybe even do a little bit of skateboarding or rollerblading. With that being said, with sunshine uh, and all of these allergens out in the air, we're going to see the pollen start to spike as we head through the weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, getting into that high territory here. Continuing to monitor these tree pollens, mainly maple and elm, but a little bit of poplar also in there. With that being said, I wanted to give you just some uh, ways to cope with these allergies. If you've already been reacting with the uh, numbers around eight, which is where they've been, now that they're going to be rising to about 10 out of 12 and 11 out of 12, that means you may be reacting a little bit more. You'll want to wash your hands a little bit more frequently. Remember, if you're driving in the car around the block, it's going to be best if you're doing that with the windows closed. Same thing for the house. And then if you're looking to get outside, maybe for that walk or to skateboard, it's going to be best done in the evening. The pollen counts are higher in the morning than always. Remember to take those trusty allergy meds if that's something that helps you out. We're also going to be tracking a bit of a breezy wind tomorrow, about 20 miles per hour, but could gust as high as 30. So with that being said, being outside, it is going to be a bit breezy. Here's how we start off today in the lower 40, so a little chilly, but sunny skies, 43 degrees by the 8 o'clock hour. It gets a little bit better as we head into the afternoon, giving you the green light to go for that walk in the park. You may need a hoodie because it is going to be in the low to mid 50s. That's slightly chilly for some folks, and we'll be looking at numbers similar to that for the evening, but not bad if you have a nice deck, a little fire pit, hang out outside on the porch tomorrow evening. Give you the green light for that. Mostly clear skies as we head into the evening. Numbers falling into the lower 50s. The winds will be sticking around as we turn into your Friday. Still starting off on the chilly side in the 40s through the morning, getting up to 53 degrees around lunchtime. And I think we'll get into the lower 60s here in the city uh, for a few hours for your Friday afternoon. Clouds will be building as we head into the evening. But the good news is we're staying dry. Seven day forecast looking ahead to the weekend. Not a bad sight here. 59 degrees for your Saturday mix of sun and clouds for most of the weekend. Mild on Sunday. If you're looking for the thumbs up, it's for Sunday mid to 60s, 69 degrees for your Monday. We'll start to see the chance of some showers starting to trickle into the area as we head into the evening hours and then we're into the 70s for your Tuesday. But I'm looking at some rain chances there also, so you'll need the umbrella on standby. Not ruling out a few rumbles of thunder on Wednesday as we are watching our next weather maker, a cold front. We'll get up to 70 on Wednesday, but looks like we're going to be a little bit cooler as we turn into next Thursday.